I mean, I expect to see you on the Olympia stage soon. <laughs> Tom Platt said it. You'll see me in the Olympia in about three, four, five years. I don't know. I don't think so. I would be surprised to see that he wins this competition. Coach Greg, in today's video, Coach Greg going Gen Z. We're watching Shizzy and Jizzy, of which Jizzy is going to be competing on stage. Let's get right into it. How does Shizzy do in his bodybuilding competition? I mean, with the right coaching and the right belief in yourself, I mean, I expect to see you on the Olympia stage soon. <laughs> Already we got so much glaze, you'd swear it was a Will Tennyson video. This is the home gym. This is where we get pumps, filthy pumps. We have cracked lighting. You're not going to be able to get the same amount of pump in a... In a Commercial gym, bro. You're not going to get this pump in the LA gym. And so that's cap. There's clearly better lighting in a commercial gym. What are these guys going on about? A little bit of brain rot going on. You're not going to get this pump in the LA gym. Gold's gym. This is better than gold's. And that's cap. Perhaps a little brain rot. Guys cracked out. This is better than... We got, we got Arnold's ball juice sweat dripped all over these walls, bitch. A little sus. We got him saying about the ball juice, the WD-40. Guys getting oiled up before GTA 6. The Paulie's got a little bit of grit to him. So we're going to try and fix that. About 50 grit sandpaper to him. Yeah, we're going to try and fix that. <sighs> Do you have to cover your... 25 grit, huh? Like cover your mouth or anything? Just look, check the wind, dude. Clearly bros never oiled up before. These guys have never used WD-40 before. I mean, is this Gen Z? Is this what's going on? Remember, Shizzy's 27 years old. He was actually around for GTA 1. GTA 1, in case you didn't know, it came out in 1997, the year Shizzy was born. Don't get it in your eyes. Hit yeah. it in the back. All right, I'll pull it. You spray it. Hold up. Wait, it's actually working, Loki. I need some of this for my elbows right now. It's <laughs> just WD-40. Oh, Can you swallow it? Babe, it's like you spray it. Like since I was a kid, you spray your bicycle. It's just grease. It's oil. You get oiled up. Yeah, but I would close my mouth. Babe, there's, they're spraying the, the machine with WD-40 and oh, bro's really? like, hey, I, you have to cover your mouth and the whole thing. It's like, it's not oh, a toxic no. chemical. No, it's no. like. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's butter. It smells like diesel <laughs> fuel in here, but. Oh, that's definitely better though. A little, a little more. I think that's enough, bro. Literally, I feel like, holy shit. Yeah, let's air it out. Let's step out. Bro, air it out. He's like this. <laughs> bro, it's WD-40. I mean, the only guys above 40, I'm 48 years old, is the only guys above 40 that know how to use WD-40? Bro. It's the day before the competition and he's carving up. This is 100% normal. As you know, when you do a bodybuilding competition, you're trying to deplete your body of water. You're trying to get dehydrated and you're carving up. You're trying to get the muscle glycogen more full than last time so that when you flex the biceps, they're gonna be bigger than ever before. You can't grip, grip, grip the socks. I'm gonna be honest with you right now. Shizzy, he's not looking good. He's one day out from a bodybuilding competition. And last I checked, when you're in a bodybuilding competition, you're supposed to be shredded. The guy looks aight. He has a great physique. But consider this. To me, this is an amazing off-season. Looking like this year-round, this is an exquisite physique. But for a show, for a bodybuilding competition, of which you diet for months, to me, he's looking a little off. He's looking soft. He doesn't have the kind of conditioning that I would suspect for a first place winner. Before you write in the comment sections that I'm shitting on him, I'm giving you my honest assessment. The guys are not even as lean as the Trend Twins. And so, think of it. He's not ready for a competition. And here's a sign that they're not really in shape. The day before the competition, they're doing a grueling workout. When you're this close to competition, you're not going to the gym training hard than last time. You're perhaps getting a little bit of pump. You're working on your posing, but you're not going to failure and beyond. As he's doing the bent over laterals, you can see one line going up the side of his leg. If you're shredded, there should be lines everywhere. I mean, Coach Greg in his studio, <laughs> I'm 48 years of age. There's more detail in the side of my leg than in Shizzy. And I am not ready for a competition. I'm 48 years of age. Shizzy's 27. He's a specimen. He's in his prime. I'm a has-been. There's no way that Shizzy should not be more shredded than Coach Rag at 48. Think of how lean you need to be to win a competition. We had Eric Janicki going for his pro card. He got fifth place. 
Guy was shredded. You need to be absolutely diced in order to win a competition. Seeing the quads, you can see separation amongst each of the heads of the muscle, but you don't see any striations. You're looking for clear, visible detail. And so what he should be looking for is to see some striations. Remember, I'm an old man. He should make my legs look like crap in comparison. If a guy is going to be a future Mr. Olympia competitor, does he not need to at least beat Coach Greg in studio? Let's assume that he's 100% natural, of which I don't believe. When you diet down and get completely shredded, diced, that is when you're gonna lose a lot of muscle. It's very easy, at least fairly easy, to maintain conditioning when you're about 10% body fat, which is roughly where Shizzy is. But when you diet down, get to perhaps five to 6% body fat, that's when you're gonna lose a lot of muscle. And so if Shizzy were to diet down, get truly shredded, how much muscle would remain? He looks great, especially if he's 100% natural natural, especially for his off season, but this is a day out. He should look ridiculous. I should be looking at his chest, dry shins, feathers, everything going on. To me, he looks like a guy who's in his off season, perhaps four to eight weeks out from competition, but certainly not a guy competing tomorrow. And bro, where's the tan? Are we not competing tomorrow? And so if you were to tell me that he's guest posing at a natural bodybuilding competition, I'd say, hey, this is great shape for a guest poser. Gotta be confident. Yeah, that's just I'm in, the, in my, my environment, that's why. It's different on the stage, you know? Just gotta keep confidence. And so notice they're saying, you gotta be confident. Perhaps he knows he's not lean enough. Saying, hey, you gotta be confident, you've got the shape. Not debating that he's got the shape, he has exquisite shape. But does he have the conditioning? If I were getting up on stage tomorrow, I'd be wanting to hear the following words. Dude, you're shredded. You brought it. You dieted harder than last time. You're looking crispy. I can't believe it. And so perhaps he did a lot of mewing, but not a lot of cardio. It's me. And I can't hide behind a camera. I can't hide behind anything else. It's just like 100%. Exactly. You can't hide behind the camera. It's him against the world. When you're a bodybuilder and you're up on stage, you are showing the world exactly the work that you put into it. When you're on Instagram, you can filter the photos. You can put the down lighting in. You can get the proper pump, the camera angles, and so on. But up on stage, that is when the truth shall be revealed. So yeah, it's a little nerve wracking. Like you said, bro, it's just practice. Only you know the exact work that you put in. Nobody else knows. Did you get up in the middle of the night and cheat on your diet? Did you get in the cardio? Did you truly push yourself harder than last time? Once he gets up on stage, we will see. Did he in fact give his 100%? I was an athlete, dropped out of high school, uh, got in trouble, um, went to jail, went to rehab. And then when I was in rehab, I was addicted to hard drugs. I uh, found Jesus. Clearly, Shizzy has come a long way. The guy was an athlete, but yet he dropped out of school, went to jail, got addicted to hard drugs, but has found Jesus. He's now changed his life around for the better, and perhaps bodybuilding has allowed him to do so. And so let's see how does Shizzy do on stage. I just, ever since then, I've been lifting for about 10 years. I'm down. Mr. Platts is here. I'm down. Excuse me. Platts is here. Who? Platts. Oh, yeah? In Platts. 10 years has passed since those hard times and Tom Platts is now attending in the competition. Tom Platts, the quad father himself, guy with the craziest quads perhaps of all time. You've all seen Tom Platts. He's attending the competition and it's now time to glaze and oil up for competition. And so they first begin by properly doing the hair. And so the hair is properly in immaculate condition. And now he's glazed and oiled up. Remember, when out the oil, you're just not going to look as shredded. The light's going to bounce off him properly. And so by putting in some oil shining up, you're going to look more shredded than last time. Let's see a shizzy. Shanta! And so uh, Shizzy acknowledges the applause of the crowd walking up on stage looking amazing. The first thing I'm going to notice is that he doesn't have a proper tan. When you get up on stage with the extra lighting, now remember the show is in fact outside, it appears that the physique, the conditioning, the lines are being washed out. With a better tan, his muscles will look more shredded than ever before. He looks great, he looks like a guest poser, but he's not in what I would call show condition. And so what I immediately notice is the guy has enormous arms. 
arms. His arms are splendid. They're superb, huge. And that combined with the small waist, it is reminiscent of Arnold Schwarzenegger himself. However, Arnold was in fact a lot bigger. And remember, Shizzy's 27. By the age of 27, Arnold had already won multiple Mr. Olympia titles. And so it's not as if he's a teenager. If he were, for example, 18 or 19 and looked like this, I'd be saying, dude, you're going to get to the Olympia. But he's been training hard for 10 years. At the start of the video, we heard Tom Platt saying, you're going to get to the Olympia. I don't think so. And so in comparison to how I'd want him to look, he's looking a little queso. Guy could perhaps lose a little bit of weight. He certainly isn't 119 pounds. How much do you weigh? 119. I hate to be the bear of Brad News. Remember, I would have loved to have said the guy is shredded. He brought it 5% body fat. He's going to win by a mile. But in this condition, it ain't it. I would be surprised to see that he wins this competition. You can see he's lacking the conditioning in the quads. He has the shape as we all knew he did, but he doesn't have the shreds. And so in comparison to the other guys, you can clearly see he's a lot taller. Shizzy's perhaps six foot two, six foot three inches tall and has an impressive shape, but he doesn't have exquisite conditioning. And so we have number 25 on the left looking like he has a really big chest, perhaps bigger quads, and so very much in the running. Competitor number 24, slightly smaller, has great peaked arms, and also a small waist. None of these competitors, in my opinion, have brought it. All look like they should be going on a diet. Now remember, for off-season, just walking around like this, perhaps having a beach body, this is amazing. All these guys look great, but for show conditioning, to try and win a competition, none of these guys have brought it. Just because of the sheer height, the size, in comparison to the other competitors, I still think Shizzy's going to win this one. He does appear to have better shape and not going to lie, he does appear to be more attractive than the other competitors. And you're thinking that can't make a difference. Do you really think so? I know that many times you're told, don't judge from the neck up, only judge from the neck down. But we're talking about a guy who's six foot three and in his 20s. And so in comparison... I do believe he gets the edge, and I'm not talking about edging. And so as you see, competitor number 24 in comparison, very, very close. These guys are neck and neck. Apples to oranges. One guy is taller and bigger. The other guy does appear to be a little bit leaner. And so if I were Shizzy right now, I'd be disappointed. He should have blown these guys out of the water. It should have been lights out. But in my opinion, it's very close. And so here we have Callum Von Monger. He's at the competition. Remember, Callum, an IFBB pro, although he's never competed a pro, he does have his IFBB pro card. Oh man, what's gonna happen with this one? And so I hear in the crowd, oh man, what's gonna happen with this one? We have the top three lined up. Now remember, the camera is closer to Shizzy, and so the guys on the left are gonna look a lot smaller. If the camera on the left, the guys on the right would be a little bit smaller. And so you can't judge from this camera angle alone. From this camera, Shizzy appears to be that much bigger. And so clearly, it is close. Oh man, what's gonna happen with this one? The top three are on the stage. It's anyone's game. If Shizzy had truly brought it, it would have been lights out. Give the guy a trophy. Why are there even anyone else on stage? And so it's very, very close. And whose fault is that? Well, of course it's Shizzy. The guy prepped for a week. One week. He didn't diet for two or three months. The guy dieted for a week. And so what do you expect? In third place, you Number three, Sean. And so in third place, it's now Sean. Sean is Chizzy. Clearly, he's disappointed. He never came for third place. The guy wanted to be a champion. A year ago, he got second. He's come back and third. I told Sean to compete last week. Well, no, 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 jump, in, jump in his glass and he got ready. That's it. And so that's Cap. I told Sean to compete last week. He's always ready. Yeah, ready to go to the beach ready to go and dance at the clubs, but not ready to get up on stage. Guy didn't even have the proper tan. And so why blow smoke up people's ass? Do you think Shizzy wants to hear, oh, you're always ready. You always look incredible. You're always the champion. The judges, they keep getting it wrong. Or should they be saying, look, you have an amazing physique. Look at your shape. You remind me of Arnold. But here's the difference. Arnold, he dieted. Arnold, he trained harder than last time. You're half-assing it. Do you really think the guy put every drop of energy into this? Do you think he gave it his 100%? Would every bodybuilder out there be proud of competing in this condition? 
I don't think so. He half-assed it, and this is the result. And so Caleb, who appears to be towering over Shizzy, how tall is Callum exactly? He's gonna go get some feedback from none other than Tom Platt. Sean, Sean, Sean. Come in, come in. This is tough. I would've gave it to you, okay? I'm like, that's what I would've like to look like you're the guy I wanna be. When you're young, you have all the potential and the outline of perfect physique. Tom is saying, look, I would've gave it to you. I think you deserve first place. You're young, you're good looking, you're handsome. And so you deserve to win. Arnold-esque. All right. Yeah, exactly. Top two stay in the middle. You can do it. All you, right. You want this. Who do you have? Got Nobody to? can get in your way. Yeah. Very, right. very He's impressed second by place. you. Oh my God. And so Tom clearly impressed. Oh my God. You could be on the Olympia stage. No one is holding you back. Well, perhaps himself. Or perhaps he doesn't want to abuse performance enhancing drugs. Perhaps Shizzy is in fact natural. And to hear Tom Platt say, all you need is the right coach. You just need to do this and do that. Maybe Shizzy doesn't want it that bad. Perhaps he cares about his health. Remember, he used to be addicted to drugs. He got out of that life. He was in jail. He's seen God. And so perhaps he really is natural. Maybe he doesn't want to ruin his health. We all want what you have. The stature. The Arnold S. Monster. And who is this boomer talking so much cap? Are you kidding me? You're going to be on the Olympia? Really? You have class, your style. You just don't know how good you can be. The class, the style. You don't know how good you could be. Bro, you look at a little sus. Perhaps you need to touch some grass. Touch some grass, Grandpa Platts. What are you going on about right now? I mean, is this a little hawk to a Tom Platts, are you ready to do the hawk to on him? I mean, with the right coaching and the right belief in you and yourself, I mean, I expect to see you on the Olympia stage soon. <laughs> expect to see, not you could maybe with the right coaching. I expect it. Yeah, with the right cycle. What is he gonna get, Coach Kyle? Are you kidding me? I mean, I expect to see you on the Olympia stage soon. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, not like he has my cookbook. I mean, if he had my cookbook, perhaps he'd be on a diet and low calories, could get in shape. But as it stands, he's not lean enough. He dieted for a week. And so I don't think the right coach, Coach Kyle, for example, is just going to put him on some magic diet and he's going to show up shredded, big enough to not only win his pro card, but to show up at the Olympia stage. Perhaps what? Beat Ramon Dino, Chris Bumstead? Bro is not going to beat Wesley Vizers anytime soon, although he's about the same height. He'd probably have to put on 40 pounds of muscle and drop a significant amount of body fat to compete at that level. But that's how you... That's Great how you class. motivate Great yourself class. to go, okay, whatever. You know what, I came third. Yeah. I'm going to make one, sure that next year I'm first. Exactly. But see, here's the thing. He's already done that. Last year, he got second. Should have learned from that. You know, I got second place. I wasn't lean enough. Next year, I'm going to come back and win. It's a year later. He died for a week and got third. And so what does that tell you? It tells you he doesn't want it bad enough. Perhaps he just wants to be famous. I'm shizzy. Millions of followers. Everybody loves me. But to be a champion bodybuilder, you need to be willing to suffer. Suffer more than you know. Tom Platt said it. You'll see me in the Olympia in about three, four, five years. I don't know. And so he says, look, I don't know. The Olympia in three or four years? He's been training for 10. Do you really think he's suddenly going to put on a ton of muscle? He's suddenly going to flip the switch. There's such a thing as newbie gains. And those newbie gains have long been passed. Even if he were to get shredded, even if he were to come in, peel 5% body fat, not nearly big enough. He looks great here against what I see as low level amateur bodybuilders, but at a national level show, remember this was a beach show. They were competing outside. It wasn't a high level show. There were two weight classes. And so do you really think that Shizzy is ready for the Olympia stage? Perhaps Tom Platt's get a little bit senile. Perhaps he's getting old. This boomer, he needs to touch some grass. And from the looks of what he's been doing, he's been edging the Shizzy for a little bit too long. Just a little bit too long. And so let's assume Shizzy is in fact 100% natural, of which I don't believe. But let's assume that he is. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. He would not only have to use, but abuse performance enhancing drugs for years to get to that level. And for a guy who was once addicted to drugs, was in jail, has found Jesus. Do you really think he's going to want to abuse his temple, the body that he loves? 
I don't think so. And so personally, I don't want to see him go for his pro card. Do I want it to come in and compete again and get shredded? Absolutely. I want to see him be at his best, but I don't want to see him use steroids to get to the next level. There's no way that a natty shizzy is going to get to the Olympia. You all know it. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. But yet, y'all want him to turn pro. Oh, go on steroids. Hire Coach Kyle. Let's put him on the same cycle as the Trend Twins. Is it worth it? Does he look like he needs the validation from winning a first place trophy? I think he looks incredible. And for a guy that died for a week, he looked freaking amazing. Did he win the competition? Well, perhaps not. Should he have won? Well, if he had died, I'm certain he would have. But he seems happy. He doesn't have to put his body through the stresses, the turmoil, the dangers of abusing steroids. And so good on Shizzy. Excuse, I'm not even going to give you excuses, you know. Next time I'm going to come harder. And so next time he's going to come in harder than last time. And so if you're looking to get harder than last time, look no further. Harder than last time. And whether you're natural or enhanced, you can most certainly benefit from Geo2 Max and Turk Builder. Certain if Shizzy had dieted harder than last time and used Turk Builder and Geo2 Max, give him the extra energy, the cardiovascular endurance, the extra size. Unbelievable. Trust me, bro. Turk Builder is legit. No cap. Consider getting Turk Builder, Geo2 Max, harder than last time, and all the HTLT supplements. Code Greg, 15% off. Next time, I'm not going to give him less of an excuse, just like I did the other, the other year. I lost last year. I lost it today. But you know what? We're going to take that to the chin and we're going to grow. And so isn't there a tale about the little boy that cried wolf? Did he not cry wolf the first time and then the second time and then the third time no one believed him? And so Shizzy, you need to bring it. You got one more chance. You got second one year, third this year. You haven't been dieting hard enough. Clearly the physique is not on point. It looks amazing, but you didn't put in the work. And so let's see you actually bring it. Let's try dieting for a month instead of a week. Love you guys. We'll see you next week. And psych, they miscounted first place baby. Alrighty then. And so 1% of people watch to the end and discover that Shizzy actually won the competition. And so there you have it. Shizzy actually won. Now, regardless of what was said during the video, I stand by everything. The guy was very close. It wasn't like he blew away the competition. If he in fact won this competition, I don't know if he actually did. Is this a joke? I don't know what's going on. Says Shizzy won in the last second of the video. There you have it. Shizzy first place. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm. Please like the video if you in fact liked it. Watch one of those two bloops. And of course, the cookbooks, the training books, the coaching plans by me and my team, the hard and last time supplements, the HTLT clothing line. And if you got no money, get over and get the free diet and training program. It's close to 50 pages in length. And until next time, I am out.